sorry, actually, brothers. Billy was the one that tried to bite me. <laughs> Now, uh, once these once these guys are fully grown, they'll have a jaw pressure of around 2,000 pounds per ferry. Look at them go. So you don't want to get bit by one. And they also turn rather nasty once they do get old. Uh, they are, as you can see, that's my arm. Oh, <laughs> that, that's just from her claws. So as you can see, she has quite nimble front foot claws. That's her sister at this age. They will, they will climb trees as a defence mechanism. There's older larger devils won't hesitate to make a meal out of them. They will be cannibalistic. So these two that we've got here in these ten are actually part of our breeding program. They were bred here at the zoo and um, we had to hand raise them the circumstances. But the reason why we have a breeding program is the Tasmanian devil in the wild is in a lot of trouble. We've lost around 90% since 96 and that's due to the devil facing tumor disease. 100% fatal cancer, which goes on the face of the devil and is transferred through biting. We don't know what caused it or how to cure it, and at this stage there is no cure. So, what we we are expecting the wild devils becoming extinct in the next five to ten years. Really? So, and at the moment, we've only got about 1,500 devils in breeding programs, and well, actually not even that, and we need about four times as many to yeah. keep the going, so we don't have any questions. Um, are there any like uh, charities or anything like that for money going towards research into that or not? Uh, is there getting there's, a cure? There's the Devil in Danger program, yeah. which is a government run one. Yep. Uh, but like a lot of government run organisations, um, only, I'm, I don't know where the young devil is. <laughs> <laughs> only around 5% actually reaches, like if, if you put in you can have that. <laughs> yeah. um, if you put in oh, oh, nice. $10 or so, yeah. 25% of that will actually reach oh, really? the devils themselves. Yeah. It's a bit of a joke. Yeah, yeah. It's really frustrating. Uh, we, oh. We've had, we're actually supposed to reach the TV grant yep. uh, along with two other uh, breeding programs. Yep. And all of a sudden, $70,000 went missing. Really? We were really impressed. The, Bloody that, um, hell, that's food, ridiculous. Yeah. It's, um, it's a joke. It is a joke. <laughs> it is a joke. And I just realised that I was holding on to a smaller bit of meat. <laughs> <laughs> mine, mine, <laughs> mine. <laughs> and they, um, we, we receive nothing yeah. from the government. And that's what, like, it's the really frustrating part. And, and we had uh, the Devil Island project come in and start building these free range enclosures that we didn't really want yep. to begin with. And then they got halfway through building it and just went missing. So we have half the enclosure. We never were actually wanted to be in there. <laughs> Probably like whole devils anyway. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, it's got big holes in it. So it's just like, yeah, thanks guys. Yeah. Thanks for uh, They don't do anything with it. What, what do they do with it then? They just. It's a mystery to everyone.